Hello guys, myself Sundar. So this is the developing manager of College Junior. So today we are here at United Institute of Technology and with the Dr. R. Radha Krishnan, principal of United Institute of Technology. Sir, first of all, I really appreciate that you accept our invitation from College Junior. So can you tell us briefly about yourself, sir? Um, thank you, Sundar, for giving a wonderful opportunity to interact with many people through College Junior. So at this juncture, I would like to congratulate you and also my heartfelt appreciations to you. What are the information given through the Kali Dunya about the institutions and other matters? I could say it's 100% is true and it's all appreciable. So in that aspect, I'm really thankful to you. And uh, about me, uh, I basically am born and brought from uh, a small rural village located in Ebro. And um, I have completed my BE in Mohammed College of Engineering in 1990. And subsequently, I have completed my PG degree with uh, PIG College of Technology. It's one of the renowned institutions in uh, all over the world. And I have completed my PhD with Anna University, Chennai, there in 2008. So almost I'm having a 33 plus years of experience in the teaching as well as the research. I worked in many institutions. I started my career as a lecturer in the polytechnic and then later I switched to switch over to SNR Science Trust, uh, SNR Science College and followed by Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College. Almost 40 plus years I spent with Ramakrishna Engineering College. The very uh, important thing is I have entered as a lecturer in that particular college, Ramakrishna Engineering College and I was elevated after the principal. So at the age of 44, I met as a principal of a reputed institutions where 4,700 students are studying and 2,000, I mean 200 plus faculty members are working. Such accolades are there for me. And then uh, I have, in my uh, uh, personal uh, thing, you know, I have uh, 18 scholars, they have completed uh, their PhD under my supervision. Almost uh, 73 plus scopus index with journals are in my Thanks, and my H index factor is um, 14 plus. And uh, uh, you know, the currently I'm working with United Institute of Technology as a principal. Of course, uh, my expertise and exposures in this regard will be shared with uh, all the people. That's all. And, and uh, I have to say, my family background, I am blessed with uh, two children. My wife is a housewife, she's taking care of me. That's very uh, supportive for me. My son, you know, he's pursuing his master's in uh, MLA, German. And my daughter is preparing for her UPSC coaching at uh, New Delhi. She appeared for the examination twice, preliminary, but unfortunately that she's not able to complete, but however she is trying. That's all about my son. Okay, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, let's go on to the questions, sir. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, sir. So, you have held key positions at education institutes throughout mm -hmm. your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sectors? Yeah, I'm told that, you know, I'm continuing in this almost 33 plus years. I'm concentrating on the teaching as well as the research side. I'm really passionate about the learning. And, uh, you know, my work contributes to the students' life, obviously. And also I'm connected with the broader community like educators, students, parents and all which gives me an opportunity to do something for the society, a society in the sense, especially for the student community. So these are all the certain factors that keeps me connected to the education sector. I'm totally happy about uh, this particular profession. So, second one, sir. So, being the principles of United Institute of Technology, what is your philosophy of leadership? How would you describe your leadership style? Uh, of course, uh, I could uh, define my leadership, sty leadership style as a, a collaborative in nature. Collaborative and obviously I'm empathetic and uh, the visionary. I value from all my stakeholders like my faculty members, students, parents, my management, etc. And I'm really believing in empowering my teammates. So each and every aspect, I'm just looking into their uh, feedback and I'm uh, taking care of all the works. So that gives me a kind of a support, obviously. 
ओके थर्ड वन सर सो बीइंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ यूनाइटेड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हाउ डू यू स्ट्रेटेजाइज अबाउट योर की प्रोग्राम्स एंड प्लान्स फॉर द मार्केटिंग एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ योर यूनिवर्सिटी यस द क्वेश्चन इज रियली इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन राइट आई सेड इट्स 33 प्लस इयर्स and in the last few years i could say that the last one decade the engineering education is like you know it's facing the ups and downs there is no a stable kind okay, of a development rather they are that kind of developments it's all because of the awareness in the students so what i'm suggesting is you know, according to my you know the strategies for making this institution as a reputed one and also fulfilling all the expectations for the management age I'd like to clear, clearly, clearly define my objectives and goals for the institute, and of course, I would like to understand what is my strength, what is my weakness, what is my opportunities, and what is my threats. Simply speaking, I, I will do my SWOT analysis. So the outcome of this SWOT analysis will help me to identify the areas where the improvement is needed. so accordingly i definitely go for the digital marketing nowadays you know the digital marketing is yes. very famous and even you know you are also doing this thing yeah. so the digital marketing so kind of a strategy you know we have to follow like you know the brand positioning digital marketing uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, the conventional kind like you know approaching the social media and posting the the college the you know the details like everything need to be in the social media. So what I'm simply speaking is, I mean simply saying is, building a strong relationship with the community, local businesses, that makes my admission process good. So I said very clearly earlier it was not like that because you know my admissions are very automatic. When the counselling session opens, almost all the seats, hundred percent of the seats will be filled. But now we have to do certain things. so i really the answer you have given that for the fourth question is really nice sir so let's go in sir so how does the curriculum of united institute of technology ensure the best practice of industry yeah of course we have a great opportunity since the college is an autonomy so there are two kind of two different kind of colleges are available in india the one is you know the affiliated colleges in which their curriculum and syllabi will be developed by a kind of university for us you know dana university will be uh, affiliating university and they will be coming up with a standard kind of a curriculum and syllabi it will not be you know revised once in a year it will be revised once in four years that's a major drawback of all the colleges which are all affiliated to the certain universities but we are very fortunate and we are lucky enough to have a autonomous The UGC has conferred an autonomy for 10 years, starting from 24, 25 to 2033 to 34. So this is one such accolade we have, so that the curriculum and syllabi can be framed by ourselves. So kind of academic flexibility is given to you. We need not stick on to one particular syllabus or one particular curriculum. So depending upon the industry needs, say for example. the software industries may expect a kind of a curriculum rather the students need to develop their skill sets on according right so we have a given an opportunity to take the particular requirements from the industry accordingly i could frame a syllabus as well as practical in everything so what i'm doing is i'm training my students according to the industry expectations so that's one kind the another kind the once if i network with uh, different different industries what i mean is the collaboration collaborating with the industry that the collaborating with the industry is very very essential nowadays the academic scenario is different whereas the industry scenario is different once if i understand what is the industry scenario i can bridge the gap between academic scenario and the industry scenario this is what we call it as a collaboration and another thing what i'm making is while preparing my syllabus i mean curriculum and syllabus i am inviting the persons from the industry so they will be coming up with a kind of an idea but like a practical exposures and all so my obviously i can develop a very good curriculum and syllabi and apart from that i can extend the training to the industry people and vice versa the persons from the industry can come over here and they can extend the training so these are all the factors that our institution 
having a such a kind of facilities because of the autonomous mobility so what do you think your roles and responsibility to the university and the students are yeah obviously what i'm expecting is my roles and responsibilities rather uh, you know it's need not to be a single phase instead you know i'm expecting that a multi phase so basically it is a multi phase to support the institute and in achieving in its education in sense such as making very simply i'm making it that they, i have to make the students very comfort and uh, successful in their life so the four years of stay in this institutions i just wanted to make them uh, very happy and at the same time they have to decide upon their what is the the career advancement yes so last one sir so what do you see as united institute of technology greatest strength of course the every institution is having its own strengths as well as the weaknesses what are the challenges right i could say the my institute having a greatest strength is the quality of education rendered by our dedicated team of faculty members and also the staff and of course i could say that the institution is having the state of art facilities and we have a lot of incubation centers through that we are making the students to understand what is that innovation and what is that it is required for the industry and all and of course we are having a strong community engagement that makes my institution is highly reputable 